we have here a message the filter has reached its service life please replace it immediately because uh, you can see here if we go into uh, let's say uh, maintenance and we can see that the filter has no life available side brush has 21% uh, main brush has 47% Mop, replace as needed, sensors normal, this can be cleaned, wiped and so on. But the problem is that the filter is uh, really clogged. So, without further ado, let's just see how many square meters did it clean. So, uh, as you can see here, it just cleaned so far 160 hours, which is a lot, and 9565 square meters in 376 cycles. What does it this mean so i've started it and set it to clean uh, 376 times which uh, sometimes maybe there were only one room two rooms the whole house only one zone sometimes i just wanted to clean the entrance of the house because it gets really dirty and maybe there's a mop or whatever i want to wash something or so ever so i don't have to use the mop and get the vacuum cleaner from the garage which, by the way, my vacuum cleaner is already moved in the garage and it's sitting there for some time now. Yes, that's why uh, I've already ordered the parts. So let's start unboxing. First of all, I just want to show you. Recipientul de praf a fost scos. Yeah, I know. Just so you have an idea. This is how it looks after 160 hours. Ooh, there was, there is dust coming out of it. It's, it's a mess. So, uh, before we do anything else, let me just put this out of the way. So I'll put it back for now. Let's see if it complains because it has no uh, filter. And let me open the box because that's why I brought this up so I can show you the replacement parts for this. So these replacement parts were about $40, $40, $50 if I'm not mistaken. And it uh, includes pretty much a lot of uh, stuff. That's it. So what do we have in the box as a replacement for, let's say, $50? We have here the water filters. Yeah, these which are in the water compartment, which is not over here, but I'll bring it in a few seconds. Of course, we should have here the HEPA filters. I mean, that those were HEPA. I don't know if these are the same, but you can see here. I mean, it's... <laughs> Just have a look. It's, it's no brainer. Mine was clogged. Okay. I'm really afraid to put it on the table because it's so much dust right now since I've been using it. And uh, these are the filters. So you get two filters. Yes, you have here a main brush, which I'll be showing you in just a few seconds. And you also have here, which is the side brush. If, not, if I'm not mistaken, mine was black, right? Yeah, I have that side brush black. Of course, mine is a lot dirtier because I've been using it a lot, so I've told you, but it's no problem. That's why we have uh, spare parts. Old filter, old main filter, new filter, old mop, new mop. It's just a simple screw that you need to unscrew all the way up to the surface. Okay, you can clearly see that these are mainly not that dirty. I mean, it's plastic, so it's expected to wiggle and move around. 
but yeah I'll put them here and uh, now for the main piece because I think this one is uh, really interesting you can see it's a lot of dirt I mean it it was about time I had it clean so uh, yeah I will move this the Roborock out of the way this is the old brush this is the new brush you can already see how the hair is not straight anymore and it's because it was gathering a lot of hair in the process of vacuuming and it's a lot of dirt but it's basically the same I don't know why you need to replace this because this is pretty solid the mop is clear, no-brainer, it gets dirty each time because it just drags the mop all around the house. The filter, I think this is the most important accessory that you should change and uh, the visibility, the difference is night and day, you can clearly see why. The side brush, as I mentioned, it's not a big difference between them this is not such a big quality i'm pretty sure this is lower quality than the original i'm pretty sure i will just clean this one and put it back up and uh, yeah what else there were there yeah the two filters for the water um, these i will not replace just yet because it's not yet mandatory to replace so uh in the package, as I mentioned, I had two side brushes, which are this one, which come with the screw already in it, I just see right now, and uh, two mops, two filters, and the main brush. That's it. So uh, let me put all this back together and uh, show you how it's done. Let's begin! We will start by cleaning everything up with wet wipes because I mentioned and as you can see it's a lot of dust over here although I usually clean this once a month but I think it's too uh, too little if you ask me I should clean it more often but yeah no worry this takes I don't know 20 minutes 15 20 minutes depending on how thorough do you want to clean but yeah, if you do the regular cleaning, then it will not take that much. You just need to wipe everything up, make sure everything is nice and clean everywhere. And then just get the new main brush. Let's see if I installed it correctly. Of course, never before putting it back, you need to clean this one. Also, don't forget to clean this uh, main brush cover or how do you want to call it it's a lot of dust over here as usual and also as you can see here let me just point this out you can see there are dust particles over these brushes too which did not came as a replacement so I assume those are not changing are not changeable at least not that often so uh, this is now clean now let me just put it back together okay then we got here some hair in the side brush of course first first and first and first cleaning everything needs to be clean so we put this back together and um, yeah let me install the new brush so for that i will install the new white one although my my uh, brush is uh, my roborock s7 came with a white brush with a black one i mean not white but now i'm gonna install a white one it shouldn't be a problem it's just an aesthetic one then never just never forget to wipe your sensors as in the instructions say, you need to wipe your sensor, also the charging pad, just to make sure everything works as expected and the Roborock can do its job, which is cleaning. So, this being taken care of, let's move to the main surface. So, here we open the dustbin and then we install the new uh, filter. It should be easy peasy like this just plug it in and that's it then you can install it 
that was it and then just clean around it make sure there is no dust and also on the sensor there is no hair or anything that could damage it or make it not work as expected then you just do another cleaning on the outside and on the sensors also don't forget these are also sensors which 